the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The First Sorrow of Mary The Prophecy of Simeon Sorrow as sharp as a sword shall pierce Mary's heart because of her child. Mary is in the temple, having come with Joseph to present the child to God. They meet Simeon, the holy man, and Anna, the prophetess. Simeon takes the baby in his arms, saying he will now die in peace because he has seen Christ. Then he foretells the sorrow to come. I grieve for thee, O Mary most sorrowful, in the affliction of thy tender heart at the prophecy of the holy and aged Simeon. Dear mother, by thy heart so afflicted, obtain for me the virtue of humility and the gift of the holy fear of God. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Second Sorrow of Mary The Flight into Egypt Soon the sword of sorrow strikes. Herod the king seeks to kill the child. Warned in sleep by an angel, Joseph takes Jesus and Mother Mary, setting out for Egypt, where they lived in obscurity and poverty until it was safe to return to Nazareth. I grieve for thee, O Mary most sorrowful, in the anguish of thy most affectionate heart during the flight into Egypt and thy sojourn there. Dear mother, by thy heart so troubled, obtain for me the virtue of generosity, especially toward the poor, and the gift of pity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Third Sorrow of Mary, the Loss of the Child Jesus in the Temple When Jesus is twelve, he is taken to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. On the return journey, Joseph and Mary find at the end of the first day that Jesus is not with them. Racked with anxiety, they search for him. Nobody in the streets, not even the beggars, can tell them where he is. Not till the third day do they find him in the temple. I grieve for thee, O Mary most sorrowful, in those anxieties which tried thy troubled heart at the loss of thy dear Jesus. Dear mother, by thy heart so full of anguish, obtain for me the virtue of chastity and the gift of knowledge. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Fourth Sorrow of Mary Mary meets Jesus on the way to Calvary. Mary has known fear and sorrow, but none so great as seeing her beloved son stumbling under the weight of the cross. She hears the jeering shouts from the crowd and has no power to help him. Pity and love are in her eyes as she gazes at his blood-stained face. To many around her, he is no better than a criminal, and her heart is breaking as she follows him to Calvary or Golgotha. I grieve for thee, O Mary most sorrowful, in the consternation of thy heart at meeting Jesus as he carried his cross. Dear mother, by thy heart so troubled, obtain for me the virtue of patience and the gift of fortitude. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Fifth Sorrow of Mary Jesus Dies on the Cross With John, Mary stands at the foot of the cross. A sword shall pierce thy soul. Simeon told her. Truly her heart is pierced with sorrow. Her beloved son is dying and she shares in his suffering. She does not ask God to take away this agony. She is his mother, so close to him, 
that his pain is hers too. And now he speaks from the cross, Woman, behold thy son. Jesus gives his mother to John and to us for all eternity. She is our mother. I grieve for thee, O Mary most sorrowful, in the martyrdom which thy generous heart endured in standing near Jesus in his agony. Dear mother, by thy afflicted heart, obtain for me the virtue of temperance and the gift of counsel. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Sixth Sorrow of Mary Mary receives Jesus. It is over. Dark clouds have appeared in the sky and upon the world. Jesus is dead. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus take down the body from the cross, and Mary receives Jesus in her arms. She is filled with a sadness that no human heart has known. This is her son. Once she cradled him in her arms, listened to his voice, watched him working at the carpenter's bench. Now he is dead. She does not weep. Her grief is too great for tears. I grieve for thee, O Mary most sorrowful, in the wounding of thy compassionate heart, when the sight of Jesus was struck by the lance, and his heart was pierced before his body was removed from the cross. Dear Mother, by thy heart thus transfixed, obtain for me the virtue of fraternal charity and the gift of understanding. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Seventh Sorrow of Mary Jesus is placed in the tomb. Hastily the body is wrapped in a clean linen cloth. Nicodemus has brought myrrh and aloes, and the body is bound in the shroud with them. Nearby is a new tomb, belonging to Joseph of Arimathea, and there they lay Jesus. Mary and John and the Holy Woman follow them and watch as the great stone to the sepulchre is rolled. It is the end. I grieve for thee, O Mary most sorrowful, for the pangs that wrench thy most loving heart at the burial of Jesus. Dear Mother, by thy heart sunk in the bitterness of desolation, obtain for me the virtue of diligence and the gift of wisdom. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Virgin most sorrowful, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Let intercession be made for us, we beseech thee, O Lord Jesus Christ, now and at the hour of our death, before the throne of thy mercy, by the blessed Virgin Mary, thy mother, whose most holy soul was pierced by a sword of sorrow in the hour of thy bitter passion. Through thee, Jesus Christ, Savior of the world, who with the Father and the Holy Ghost live and reign, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.